guys i hope you are absolutely fine and safe welcome to the lecture 4 of sql as orm complete not just course so enough of theory enough of understanding now it's time for the real work it's time for the coding it's time to create our first program so what we will learn today we will learn how to connect node.js application to a database using our orm that is sqlize so i am here connected to my sql database let me create a new uh, let me create a new database let's say test okay my db okay already there is a okay uh, let me say my test db yeah it's done so let me now uh, create a new folder where i can uh, install my project or where i can set up my project i can say it as a project so the very first thing which i need here is first i need to in it is as a node just as you know might know uh, whenever we have to create a project as a node.js project we need to do npm in it so that's what i am doing the y dash y flag here means i want everything to be set as default it's created so the thing which i need to install first is sql as library itself so uh, till it it is getting in yeah it's get it's stalled now so one thing which you need to understand is let me bring you to the definition of sqlize yeah so here you can see yeah this step we are done now you can see if you want to connect to any database first you need to see which database you are trying to connect to whatever the database you are trying to connect you need to install its corresponding driver also so in our case we are using mysql so for mysql we have to install mysql 2 it's done i think we are ready let's open my vs code as you can see uh, i have in my dependency i have my sql 2 uh, the driver as well as the sql s library itself so let me create a file app.js here we will play around it with it so the very first thing which we need to do is we need to import sqlize from what from our sqlize library that's it now now it's time to create a database connections let's see how easy it is using sqlize to create a database connection let me uh, initialize a variable sqlize where i will be storing the connection so uh, how i will do is i am initializing a new sqlize instance the first argument will be the name of the database my test db and then the username which in my case is root then the password for that after this i need to pass the last argument will be an object which will contain two things only two things the host host will be local host in my case and the most important thing is dialect now what is dialect dialect is in short terms if i can say is the name of the database the type of the name of the database maybe it's mysql maybe it's postgres maybe it's ms sql or whatever in my case it's mysql now connection is established it is stored in this variable now i need to be sure if connection is established or not as connection is a asynchronous task it might get established might not get established and also it will take some time to get established so let me do i will do this thing in catch block and if something bad happens what i will do is i will console dot error
unable to create DB connection. So what I need to do is how I can test if the connection is successfully established or not. No, no worries. SQLize provide us a very simple and easy method called just we need to do is call this authenticate. We just need to do SQLize.authenticate. If this passed from this line, I can say that DB connection as established successfully that's it so as you know await cannot be outside any asynchronous function it should be inside any asynchronous function so let me create a asynchronous function called fun let me it's fun and let me call this function for the testing purpose this is not the way we, we will do in the production grade applications. We learn that also uh, right now we are just trying to learn how to connect to a database using SQLize. So it's okay for now. Let's see how it works. As you can see, DB connection established successfully. So in this lecture, what we study today is how to create a connection to a database. How it goes is first we imported SQLize from the SQLize library, then we initialized it. We passed few arguments, the name of the database, the username, the password, the host and the dialect. Then our connection is established and it is stored in SQLize variable and to check if it is established or not, SQLize provided us the asynchronous method called authenticate. Using that, we have authenticated our connection is established. And if there were any issue, if there were any error, then we would we would be automatically got into catch block, and we will we would have seen the console unable to create DB connection, which doesn't happen in our case. So we can see that connection was successfully established. So this was how much easy. It, uh, to create a connection to a database using SQLize. I hope you liked it. If you liked it, please like the video and also don't forget to subscribe to motivate me to create more videos. Thank you very much.